kembali lagi dengan saya Shamrik Tours Alam Games Sinking Island So Kita masih lagi di meja ni Cari uh, Cara untuk buka Strange, these drawers are closed And there is no obvious keyhole This drawer is stuck. Hmm, I definitely forgot something. This drawer is stuck. Classic attempt at seduction. Various weapons could have shot a bullet of that caliber. It's not obvious which one is the arm used in the crime. What was the weapon of the crime? The bolted rifle with the scuffed body and eyepiece in Walter Jones' office is the weapon of the crime. Killed by one of his own weapons. How ironic. Apa go call? Pose apa? Okay. I have to find the spot from which the murderer pulled his trigger. This will inform me about him. From where was the shot fired? The shot was fired from the window of Walter Jones's library. The shot was fired from the window of Walter Jones's library. 
Hey, I'm proud of you. Very good work, Jack. From 200 meters in the middle of a storm? Your murderer has to be a top-class shot to succeed with a shot like that. That's for sure. It's a real distance in the middle of the night, even if there was lightning. He's a master shot. Strange, these drawers are closed and there is no obvious keyhole. Oops. Sorry, sorry. I must take your fingerprints for the investigation. But of course, do your job, Inspector. Thanks. I'm hoping to ask you some questions. Walter Jones was not fond of Clara. Walter Jones certainly asked me to find out about the chances of buying back Clara's father's consulting firm. I was supposed to advise Walter on the optimal moment to buy back the firm. At the best price, obviously. I think that Walter Jones was unfair to Christina. I find her rather... pleasant. Do you think, like him, that she's a gold digger without any scruples? After all, she could also have been interested in the estate. Walter Jones didn't handle people with kid gloves. And Christina Bromsky was no exception, Inspector. Walter knew that Christina was manipulative and scheming. He was also well informed of Christina's limits. I don't think she will succeed in diverting the estate for her profit despite her physical assets, which are obvious to the eyes, <laughs> if I might dare say so. This man was a damn maniac. He seemed to fuss over these weapons with great diligence. Walter Jones was a great hunter who did not let anyone take care of the maintenance of his guns. He shut himself for long hours in his office. Later, the whole room smelled of flax oil that he used abundantly to shine the wood of his rifles. I surprised him cleaning his guns the very afternoon of his death when I joined him for work. So Lorenzo was formerly a biathlon champion. He hid this talent from me, you see. I suppose he didn't lose any of his qualities as a sharpshooter. Well, Lorenzo definitely knows how to shoot. He often borrowed a rifle from Walter. To distract himself, he enjoyed shooting gulls from the window of his studio. Now, I confess that he had developed a certain expertise in this activity. He claimed that the acidic excrement from these birds was likely to prematurely endanger certain ornamental sidings that decorated the summit of the tower. Did Walter Jones wear this chain around his neck? No doubt about it. This one looks a lot like it. This family photo is very touching. I imagine that you learned to shoot because you have a gun in your hands? Well, this photo was taken in Tanzania. That year I was very much part of the hunting party, even though I never liked to shoot animals. At the time, Walter loved taking his grandchildren on safari. He maintained that it uh, contributed to their education. I found fingerprints on the gun which was used to kill Walter Jones. Did you use this gun recently? I swear I never used this rifle. I swear it, you hear? I get it. Okay, close the two doors. That can compare. Correct match. Mm. But why did you manipulate this rifle, Hubert de Noland? Excuse me, just one question. It won't be too long. Explain to me why this gun has your fingerprints, Mr. Nolet. Now, I knew that I ought to have told you from the beginning. But uh, I was afraid that you would suspect I was the murderer. When I saw that something was turning out badly between Baina and Walter, I took this rifle and I removed the eyepiece to observe what was going on. Now, I was more than 200 meters away, and it was thanks to this rifle scope that I could distinguish Baina, who was pushing Walter over the edge. But the idea of shooting a 
Walter never crossed my mind. Why would I have killed him? He who made my career and generously remunerated me for my services. You already lied to me. Now you want me to believe that you did not make use of this gun? How do you want me to believe you again, Nolent? Okay, supposing I believe you used the rifle as binoculars and not as a weapon. Who could have taken the rifle after you and shot Walter Jones? I didn't run into anyone when I left my office. I'm the only one left in the tower who has a key card to enter this office. I don't understand how Walter Jones could have been killed by this rifle. Please, believe me. Hmm. But Nolan, but it's not that it's not. Lorenzo, I got the rogatory commission along with all the powers that go with it. And I need a key card that opens all the doors in this tower. No problem. Here, take this. It belongs to an employee who had access to all the rooms in the tower. And then, find the guilty party as fast as you can, Inspector. Thanks, Lorenzo. Walter Jones was murdered. So we stop joking and respond correctly to my questions. Everyone got that? What did Walter Jones tell you regarding his estate? I wasn't sleeping with Walter Jones. I was no longer his confidant. So go look for your clues in the minds of the heirs, Norm. You'll find something to feed your curiosity. The autopsy is categorical. Walter Jones died from a bullet wound in his back, and not as a result of his fall from the tortoise Belvedere. With all the doubts stemming from the circumstances, Baina has nothing to do with the death. Nevertheless, I would love to have your point of view on this. Oh, that's great news! Baina's cleared of all suspicion. It's fully to your credit that you recognize your mistake, Norm. I imagine that you weren't at all aware of the arm that was used in the crime, Inspector. What were you doing at the hour of the crime, around 11 p.m.? But I already told you, Norm. I hated Mr. Jones for what he did to Baina. But despite everything, I'm sorry for the death of the old man, believe me. I remember being surprised by Baina's violence. Even if I could understand that she was taking revenge for Jones's beastly brutality. After his fall, I came out of my hiding place to reassure Baina. I promised her that I would protect her. I, I was ready to give evidence that the old satyr had assaulted her again. But Baina pushed me away and fled to take refuge in her father's cabin. At that moment, I confessed... I was convinced that she'd intentionally pushed him, that she'd ruminated over taking revenge against Jones, and that if she'd agreed to accompany her torturer on his stroll, it wasn't totally innocent. In fact, I thought maybe she was waiting for a chance to revenge herself. And now, Inspector, you're telling me that Baina is innocent? Oh, now I am sure that she must detest me for having thought her guilty. This man was a damn maniac. He seemed to fuss over these weapons with great diligence. Mr. Jones was a long-time hunter, Norm. And like all self-respecting hunters, he took great care of his guns. Tell me, you have an impressive sports record, Mr. Battaglieri. You haven't completely lost your touch, I suppose. I don't like your question, Inspector. I can see what you're getting at, you know. You don't have to worry, if you have nothing to reproach yourself for. I admit that I was a very respectable shot in my youth. But the taste for weapons has now passed, you see. Did Walter Jones wear this chain around his neck? I can corroborate that, Norm. It was this chain. What could this bottle of flax oil have been used for? This flax oil is used to take care of the stocks of the luxurious rifles belonging to my boss, Inspector. It's an absolutely sensational product for bringing out the veins and precious woods. Mm -hmm. If I believe what I'm told, you are a top-class shot. At any rate, with seabirds of the region. Those who say that are slandering fools. Since then, I've lost my touch. 
I'd miss an elephant in a tunnel, Inspector. Do you know if Walter Jones was wearing something around his neck on the night of his death? I remember very well that Mr. Jones always wore his chain around his neck. Why would he have taken it off? It had the key to his room and to his safe hung from it. Do you know who in this tower knows how to use a gun? Apart from Walter Jones, I don't really know. Did you see anyone in the library the evening of the murder? You know perfectly well that I was not there, Norm. On the other hand, the computer ought to be able to tell us. All you have to do is ask it. But I have to know Mr. Jones's secret code. You understand, my boss didn't want cards assigned giving access to his office and his library without his consent. Do you have the code, Inspector? Sorry, but I don't have it. What a nuisance. Oh, but wait! I know that Jones hid the code in his desk. Unfortunately, I don't know precisely where. Mm-hmm. I'll take note of it. I need a key. You got a key. This suitcase is closed. I need a key. password jadi apa lagi blok tu sudah take it
I will certainly be able to use this for something. This suitcase is closed. Long live the old-fashioned methods. This marriage speech is destined, above all, for Jones's grandchildren. Not very romantic for the bride or for Colio. Okay. All right, guys. So, sampai sini saja saya akan main. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe dengan saya Shamrat Horse. Out.